Hey everybody, welcome into the studio. I'm Andy and today we're going to be talking about this monster right here. I'm not a seven string player, right? So this is the $200 Ibanez seven string that everybody's kind of talking about. And I've had it on my mind to get a seven string for a long time. I assumed I would have to pay a lot of money for it. Turns out I was dead wrong. So here we go. We'll talk about it a little bit and uh, I'll break it down. Just, you know, what there is to talk about on it. And then I'll do a produced loops performance of a song I wrote uh, just like the day before I got this, which ended up being great to put some of this into that song. Um, so I'll let you hear that. I'll perform it. Then we'll break it down afterwards. We'll talk about the tones, how they fit into the tracks, how they're mixed and how the performance, you know, got pulled off and all that kind of stuff. So stick around after that. Uh, but probably what you're here for is the guitar. Let's talk about this guitar, right? So it's a poplar body maple neck. Um, I'm going to assume it's bottom shelf everything. The pickups may be a little bit above bottom shelf because, I mean, you heard them. They sound pretty good. Um, even, you know, clean, clean neck pickup. <laughs> Yourself comfortable there, Boomer. So, uh, I intended and into and will replace the pickups with some Fluence Abbasis and um, then you know, bridge tuners eventually. But uh, honestly, as it sits right here, I'm in no rush to do those things. I've, I've ordered the pickups, they will be here this week, but yeah, like I, I'm not in that big of a rush to do it because this sounds fine, um, it sounds good. <laughs> The gear on this, it plays well. It plays it plays as good as any of my other guitars. You got an American Stratus, Schecter Elite, a Les Paul, uh, an Epiphone Les Paul. It plays as good as any of those. And uh, since I've had it home, uh, I, that's what I've been playing. I had no desire to do anything else. So uh, that's the guitar. It's dreamy, you know? You for Even it's got good lead tones. So I bought it not at all for lead tones, but the lead tones are good too. I don't have a first finger I sliced it open. So yeah, no complaints at all about this guitar. I don't think you will either. You should get you one, have fun. If you don't like it, get rid of it, whatever. I mean, even it's nice recess on the back. You can totally access the upper frets. Um, the bolts are a bit recessed too. So, I mean, you just can't go wrong with this. It's a great, great use of $200 for sure when it comes to a guitar. So get you one, enjoy. Let's check out uh, Beyond and then we'll break all that down afterwards. Thanks for coming by. See ya.
You see what I'm talking about, right? This thing is fun. Fun with a capital F. So, uh, there you have it. There's my little uh, quick look at the, the $200 seven string Ibanez. It's quite fun. Let's see, look on from the wrong place. It's quite fun. Go get you one. Like, you won't be disappointed. So in the next part, I will uh, either be doing or have done a pickup replacement, uh, replacing these stock pickups with the uh, Fishman Abasi model Fluence pickups. So, until then, cheers! See you guys. Okay, okay, so that was uh, Beyond, the so a song I wrote just the other day. And uh, here's what you were listening to let's let's check it out so let's talk first about the main guitar it is let's see what we have so we first hear the clean though so we can go we can go to the clean so what are we doing we've got a little compressor a gate of course which doesn't matter much but We've got some little compressor pedal there up front. Then we're going to a Fender Blues DeVille. Zoom that in a little. It's a rig capture with a 410 combo. A little chorus, a little reverb. So then our other, we hit our foot pedal and boom, our splitter goes up. We are on a rig capture of a Soldano Hot Rod 100 through a 212. So I think it's V30s, it sounds like V30s. We also have a phaser in front of both of those, so without the phaser. I like the phaser, it just makes it stereo. So, it is good to note also that phaser that tone is not something I ever use on tracks. You know, like you're kind of, when you put a phaser pedal, for me, when I put a phaser pedal on my live guitar like this, that's because it's only one of these. And whatever I'm doing on this guitar, this is it, you know? So I like for it to sound big and wide and good, whereas in the track, I've got a couple of guitar tracks. You know, pan this way, pan that way. So you don't need to fool with the phaser. All it does is it adds a chor chorus -y kind of a, a madness to things that you don't really necessarily want. So um, that's that tone. So in the actual track, this first part, what I do is uh, I move through the scenes with my feet. If you know Ableton, sorry, if you know Ableton, um, you recognize that across the top from left to right are kind of your instruments, tracks, if you will, and from, from over here on the right, from top to bottom, is how I get through a song, this first section, and they loop on themselves, which makes it fun to perform, you know, because you're not stuck in anything. You have all these sections 
of your band playing all these sections that you can just queue up whenever you're ready to do whichever one. So in that performance, I actually left out quite a few because it's all very new and I'm, I don't know what I'm doing with this one yet. So uh, this first part, there's no seven string in there. That's just an acoustic or that's just the clean guitar. We can show you through the Blues DeVille, same, same sound. I think this one probably is too, yeah. A lot of times I'll change up amps. I'm sure I did on the dirty tracks. So first section in is we have this jam. So that's with no seven string. Here's with the seven. Here's with the seven string. The live seven string. There is seven string in there. But each layer makes it better. And all I'm doing is this. Simple chords ringing out. But without it, it's still good, but it's not as good, right? So. Uh, let's look at the actual guitar tracks in this. This guitar name. We've got several guitar. Well, four, I think, that are on. Yeah, there's two here. That are, riff two, oh, riff two over here is not getting used. Those tracks are off, so we can shrink them so there's no confusion. Um, but so what we have? Let's solo up some tracks. The main guitar bed. These are six string guitars. The one on the left is a Mesa model with a tube nine in front of it, a tube screen. Sorry. Sounds kind of like this. That's being played with the Schecter Elite. The Les Paul is going through this end. The England Burns here, much more metal. -y. This is not on, this is just the amp. Got Celestian V30s, usually through, all my guitars usually are through a V30 cab, a Vintage 30. So that right there is a tight sound by itself. It's huge. So let's go over to, we have seven string sounds. First we have the Mesa. Tube Screamer is not engaged. We're on the modern voicing, halfway with the drive. You could probably use a little less bass still. Their bottom shelf is pulled down to 65. There's not much else going on. The QI is a little bit of boosting on the top. So we have two of those make it sound good. The other is the burn sphere again with the tube screamer engaged. All four together. And so you can see, as I said, if I take out the seven strings, something's missing and I want it back. So that is absolutely a net positive and completely uh, check check the box. You know, like that's why I bought, spent the $200 on the guitar. Um, it wasn't until that I had started ha realizing how much fun this guitar was that I was like, okay, we're gonna order some nice pickups for it that are like, and, and should they should sound even better than this. You know, so, oh, I'm kind of excited to get the new pickups in there. So uh, that's those guitar tracks. Simple enough, the bass is total basic bass. That bass over there. And uh, the drums are easy drummer. Easy to modern, prog rock, patch, no tweaks. Just played it in on the keyboard. 
big deal. And that's pretty much it, the entire mix. So, um, once this thing is going, you see me, uh, if you're watching carefully, you see me mess with these buttons in front of this thing, or from over in this view. You can kind of almost sometimes see me full with them buttons. But uh, these two buttons get me up and down the Ableton score, so uh, watch for the little white, gray, light gray thing moving down and now up. That's controlled with my feet, and when I get to where I want to go, I do that which is this trigger off to the side here so I'll be like bop 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 boom and then I can go then I'm free to go so this one's the main one. and so I did write that on six string but it works great for seven string that six string was tuned down this is just in the, the A7 string tuning, so if you want to uh, play along with that riff, because it is super fun, here's how you do it. It's all about the counting. Um, so, counting, you go... It's, it's, it's bouncing low to high. So we're gonna do one, two, three, and then bounce a high. One, two, three, bounce. One, two, bounce. One, bounce. One, two. So, so you got one, two, three, one, two, one, one, two, up. And then when you go up, you're going to do two on the first one and two on the second one. So the, the second time up, you're all twos. And then you're just going to go one, two, one, two, one, two, all twos, all twos, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two up, one, two, and this last one, you'll do three. And, it, and I think you do three, then two, then one. Uh, let's see. that nice little thing and then you're done one two three and that's kind of in threes too but that's a very quick breakdown of that riff if you want to learn it learn it play along with it it's super fun um but that's the long and short of the projects if you're interested in how i process like in more of the processing of that stuff Everything is uh, Slate Digital, all access stuff. So um, everything's going through console modeling. Everything has good EQs and compressors. Um, all that stuff is in there. If you're interested in how I do that, watch some of my other videos. Some of the older ones than whatever the date that this one is. Um, I think I, I probably go through a lot of that stuff. But right now, I'm feeling a little lazy. So I'm not going to do it. Peep something else, right? Cheers. Thanks for coming by. Rock your day. Bye-bye.